I hope you know what is this. Correct? What? You know what is it? Yeah. Oh, they are taking commandment from a town in Gorica in Poland. When the synagogue was burned, this was left over and I got it. <coughs> This is a, this is a whip. I was beaten once by four men with this kind of a whips. Hold it. I was beaten laying on the floor. They thought that I'm dead already. They tried to kill me. And like most recently, I found a man who was with me in a concentration camp. And when they beat me at that time with those whips, and I came in to hide in a barrack, so I didn't go into my bunk, I went into somebody else. And I heard like the other prisoners, was, uh, they saying, he's dying. But my head was all open. So I said to him, can you do me a favor? Go to my bunk, but and there under the mattress a piece of bread. He went in and brought it in, and I said to him, break a piece, put me in my mouth, and give it himself, he took it. And I decided to look for him just several weeks ago, and I found him on the internet. He lived in New York. I called him up and I asked him, I said, do, do you remember? He said, how can I forget that night? Oh. oh, I tell you what is it. I would like that that guy from Iran come and tell me that nothing happened. I would like to bring him into the, right to the, to the top of the quarry. And we would hold hands and both together we would jump down. I would do it, believe me. Just a few days early. Somehow I found a piece of meat and I brought it in I put my mother's mouth. She was a young woman, she was in her forties, but she was all gray and skinny. She spit it out and she said, I cannot swallow this in memory of her father. My mother was a religious woman. My grandfather was also very large, uh, religious. There are my parents and my two sisters. Every morning I see them, I have it in my kitchen, I have a monitor and I see them, my family on it. And I promise them that I will never forget and I will talk as long as I will live and I can open my mouth, I will talk about those atrocities of our family. Russia. My grandparents, aunts and cousins were killed there. I lost the 16 members of my family. When I walked through that not quiet place, I could hear the cry of my family and the rest of the 600,000 Jews, don't forget us. How can we forget or forgive the barbaric murder of our brother and sister, the Gestemel of our sweet Birkenau, my Donna Treblinka of Belsitz. To forget to forgive would mean to kill the victim a second time. We could not prevent the first death. We must not allow them to be killed again. We have no right to forgive. Only the dead can forgive. How can we forget to forgive the burning of a synagogue, holy book of the Torah scrolls? And we should remember that the parchments of the Torah will burn, but the letter are indestructible. They exist forever and ever. And the children, little one, were crying and calling, Mommy, Mommy, 
Benny, don't leave me. Take me with you. How can you forget this? Some, some mother turned around and they were trying to go back for the child. And those Germans, I'm a good, who are rich, there are other names, with their whips beating like this, beating the mother and the children, and shooting them, killing them, right on the street. And I got it. The one of them too was a reason, I mean, money, where is it? So I give the better watch, I give it to God, who did the guy who didn't say anything. And like I look at his face when I handed over this to him, like I look in his eye, like he would say, thank you. The other one got the other watch. He took the rifle, he put the bullet in it. He hit me, I fell down. He tried to shoot me. And I was laying on the floor and the other guy saying, don't kill that young boy. And he said to him, he will tell what we did, but they were not allowed to, to take money from dead bodies for himself. And I said, I didn't see anything. I don't know nothing. And the other guy didn't let me, let him to kill me. And this is how I survived. We always say Nazi. There are German or, they're, or Austrian, they're collaborators. I accuse the whole Germany and Austria for the murder of those people, not only the Nazis, not just the Nazis. <laughs>